The first thing we're going to do to test it is to put it up on the stainless steel stands that hold the uh, Invento box lid up in the air so that you can access the knobs and the stomp switches at the same time and test the wiring to make sure that it's all perfect. And you can reach the electronics. Here's the stands. We poke them into the screw holes. And then we uh, lift the Invento box lid off the switches, park it between the two stands, and poke the tips of the stands through the upper holes in the lid. And the lid rests against the stands and floats above the uh, knobs on the lower part of the enclosure, giving you access to the switches, the knobs, and the electronics and cables and connections all at the same time. You can actually even set it on the floor to test it at this point, if you're careful with it, because your toes can reach in and step on the switches and, and test it. But uh, I would suggest leaving it on the bench, and at this point, you would plug it in to your guitar and your amp and take a listen and make sure that it's all worried, worked, uh, wired up correctly and everything's working. And then we'll uh, switch to the next video and show you how to uh, put the industrial elastic band onto the lid to keep the wires all in place. Now we're going to put the industrial elastic band on to make sure that all of the pot wires remain in place and can't come loose. There it is, the ZVEX FX industrial elastic band. Set it off to the side for a second, take the lid and turn it over and set it down just below the enclosure so that it's resting at an angle. Now you have access to all four sides of the lid. Stretch out the industrial elastic band between your fingers so that you can form a rectangle and lift it over the top of the entire uh, lid there onto the edge of the tray and gently let it sit against the edge of the tray. Now we have to make sure that there aren't any lumps or bumps or twists or I can see a twist right there and we'll have to fix that. So you move this thing around a little bit until it's on the very edge of the tray and is covering up all of the pots so that none of the uh, jacks are exposed and all the wires are being held in place. If you have any lumps or bumps or twists in that uh, band, it's going to catch when you try to put it into the enclosure. So you have to make sure that it's smooth all the way. Push all the wires in nice and snug. Make sure that it's perfectly even and uniform all the way around. And now you can choose to, if you wish, put a piece of black foam. There's several pieces that come in your kit into the bottom of the tray. It's not necessary to use the black foam. We're going to skip it ourselves. We're going to take the channel 2 and channel 1 cables and move them to opposite sides so they don't get trapped underneath or across each other and also don't, so they don't end up underneath the transistors, which stick out pretty far so that there's no room for a cable underneath those. Then tuck the lid in and push it down. It should go in pretty easily. And now you can insert all of the thumb screws to hold it down so you can do final test and make sure that the thing survived being put together. And now your Invento box is ready to test and enjoy. Ta-da! Invento box.